Hey Drukes, it's uh, August 28th here and it's a very exciting day. Snow Leopard has come out, the new Mac OS operating system. Uh, it's mainly an upgrade to Leopard, uh, but we're really excited about it, and I am at least, because I run a Mac blog online. And I just wanted to show you guys a really neat trick that applies to both Leopard users and somewhat Snow Leopard users as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got here. I've got a whole bunch of programs open at once right now. I've got a little Safari, i got some calendar. Obviously it looks like I'm pretty busy in the next couple of weeks here. And I've got my iWeb, which is where I run my uh, gossip blog online called The Critique. And basically I want to get a picture into a new blog entry that's going to be a review for the new Halloween movie by Rob Zombie into this uh, placeholder right here where you see Ponyo, which was the last movie I reviewed. So typically what I would do with this, and I already kind of set us up here, is I would go into Safari and I would find a really cool image of Rob Zombie's Halloween that I could kind of insert into uh, iWeb. So it looks like I forgot to move my tabs around. You'll notice I've been watching some Ronnie Jenkins videos. Very cool stuff. Ah, here it is. Halloween poster. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag my tab down so I can get this in a kind of a consolidated window here. And uh, here is my Halloween 2 poster image that I need. So if you're using standard Leopard, which uh, you might unless you went to an Apple store today, Basically, you know that the F3 key, or if you've got a unibody Mac, four fingers swiping downward on your trackpad gives you the expose, which I did once already in this video, but just note, I've got this expose feature, which allows you to spread out all of your windows and kind of run over them with your mouse and figure out which one you need to bring to the front. So, in Old Leopard, you can grab this Halloween poster, use that expose feature, yet again, it's the F3 key, and then go find the window that you want to drop it in. In this case, it's going to be iWeb, which you can see right next to my mouse here. Hover for a second. And then go ahead and drop this uh, poster into that media placeholder. Now, that's not what we're going to do today. I want to show you a new feature of Snow Leopard. So I'm going to go ahead and escape out of that. And probably just drop this on the desktop for now. And I'm going to go back to our Halloween poster. So... I have a lot of windows open, and it was kind of difficult for me to figure out where exactly that iWeb window was. So instead of going into F3 immediately, I'm going to take this H2 poster and drag it into the iWeb icon, which is going to just show me windows from the iWeb application. Yet again, hover and drop. Now I could go in here and kind of make some adjustments. Obviously, I need to tone this picture down a little bit. Uh, there we go. Very nice very scary, and make some other changes. Snow Leopard's got a lot to offer. In fact, if you go back into this expose window, another cool trick you can do on Snow Leopard is hit Command-1, which will organize your windows alphabetically, or Command-2, which goes by application, and you can kind of organize your workflow. Really, really like that. Another thing that's really cool before I let you guys go is I can hit Spacebar on one of the windows I've highlighted, and it will give me a good, quick look at what I'm looking at. Using the arrow keys, I can move down to many of the windows and check it out. This one uh, is my favorite for sure, the critique.net, which is a great gossip blog that I run. And then you can hit spacebar again to get out. Now, if you want to bring one of these forward, all you have to do is click, and then it brings that window to the front. It doesn't necessarily center it, and you can go about your merry way. Very useful tactic if you're going to be doing a lot of things at once. Thanks for uh, guys for listening in. Yet again, check the critique.net for all of your gossip blog and nerd necessities. And I'll see you guys later. Ciao.